Good morning everybody, what is happening, what is going on? Today is Friday, May 12th, maybe? Anyway, we're going to breakfast again this morning. So the people that commented on the video two days ago, mini Q&A, it wasn't that I was doing another Q&A, it was that like, I, I didn't have anything else for the video that day, so I, I did a mini Q&A. That's what that was. We're on our way to breakfast right now. And maybe this morning we will see the elusive Taylor Alley. I hope you guys can see this, but this is a mama ducky. And she's walking all of her little ducklings across the road. And it's the cutest little thing ever. Look at them. I can't zoom in anymore. It's the cutest thing, and I stopped in the middle of the road so no one would go past, but... Look at them! Oh no, they can't get up the curb! The little duckies are now walking down the street, and I think that we are just going to escort them down, because I don't want them to run out in the road, and they're just going nice and slow, and it's okay. I don't have to be anywhere for another two hours. Okay, so I got a little digital zoom going. So it's not going to be the best quality. But look at these little guys. They're the cutest little things. I'll keep you guys updated. Look at the hazards on. I don't want anybody thinking that I'm just driving slow. We are getting closer. So we got one little guy. He made the whole curb hop. And we got the rest of the fam and the mommy. I know they can't actually hear me or even understand me. But I'm proud of them. That's a good mom thing to do. They figured it out. So we may have missed... So we may have missed Taylor Alley at breakfast. Usually shows up around 7.15ish, 7.20 now. So he might still be there. But we did save a mother duck and her little babies from getting hit by cars. There he is, everybody. Mr. Taylor Alley. That's why I eat breakfast with every morning. Well, unless he doesn't show up. <laughs> but, you know, okay. it's whatever. Okay. Like, I can literally see the impression. <laughs> I'm getting insane. Ah, See Taylor Alley. All right, we're going to practice. Devin said he would drive, so naturally we're going to ride with him. Um, I do have a big surprise after practice, though. Something pretty cool that I think you guys will like. Two things people people don't like to watch being made: hot dogs and champions. I apologize if the wind noise is bad, but I don't have the external mic on. It's kind of a hassle to carry it around. Um, I wish I had a smaller mic. I kind of want to get like a Rode Video Micro. 
So it'll sit on the top. I don't have to turn it on. Just not worry about it. Now we're going to go pick up the jerseys for tomorrow's meet. Uh, not only are they the coolest jerseys that we've ever worn, but I know I said, or I made that video, that those were my favorite jerseys, the ones with the duck on them, the candy apple ones. I just never thought that we were going to wear these jerseys again, and if you uh, know anything about Oregon Track and Field, you'll know which jerseys I'm talking about. But I'll show you guys, and they're pretty cool. Today, we'll pay homage to that counterculture with the most revolutionary track and field uniforms in the world, worn by its hometown heroes. Tie-dye shirts worn across the nation became one of the iconic symbols of the 1960s that is replicated in each singlet. Silhouettes of Oregon track and field icons, Coach Bill Bowerman and the legendary distance runner Steve Prefontaine are woven into the design. So begin the Pac-12 festivities. Uh, we have a team dinner in uh, 10 minutes. And uh, there you go. Shouts out to Dev for the clean kicks. Thanks, Devin. Um, we're gonna find our keys and call it dry. Are you target? Yeah. Hey, Mrs. Long. Ducks on three. One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> all right, that's all the team dinner was. Uh, we had some chicken, some pasta, some broccoli. There was some salad if you wanted it. Nothing too special, but got our bibs. Second bib. I also got a banana. Gotta get that potassium. And then. That's about it. I jump tomorrow at one something. I guess today at, I think I jump at 1.30 and then hurdle at, uh, oh wait, I jump at 1.55, hurdle at 2.30? I think something like that. So that'll be good. I'm excited for that. Um, I know a couple of the guys in my heat, so that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, nothing much else. Uh, just kind of hanging out the rest of the night. Um, if this is the end of the vlog, remember, be nice to people. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt others. Slow down. Don't dance so fast. Remember to come out to Pack 12s tomorrow if you're in town. Or I guess come out to Pack 12s today if you're in town. Support the Ducks. And uh, I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Goodbye. Okay,